Tyreek Hill has basically they, they just threw more money at him. Yeah. They just it wasn't an extension. They just said, here, you're worth more. So Tyreek Hill well, has they, more money in Miami. Yeah. I mean they headed off the potential problem of a disgruntled Tyreek Hill, you know? Like obviously with all these wide receiver contracts getting signed left, right, and center, Tyreek's Tyreek Hill's deal was no longer top of the market. Obviously, Tyreek Hill is either the best or the second best wide receiver in the NFL, depending on how you separate him and Justin Jefferson. His deal, he's like, hey, where's where's my money? You know, you just gave Tua, you just gave Jalen Waddle money. These guys are now getting thirty million dollars a year. Where's my top of the market deal? So they just get ahead of that. They figure it all out, and now they have that core locked up. So this whole dynamic of how much of the heavy lifting is Tua doing? How much is Tyreek Hill? How much is every like they've now it's locked in for a bit, right? So again, it, it doesn't functionally matter because they're all there for at least the next couple of years. Yeah, I mean, look, I think Tyreek Hill, of all the receivers in the league, he's the guy I've, I've said over the last few years that I would want to start with. He, I think he's the guy I would take over every, everyone else because I think he's special in multiple areas, right? I think if you have Tyreek Hill on your team, you can choose to have him be a deep threat. You can choose to have him be a slot receiver who catches 150 passes a game. And, or you could choose to have him just be a decoy. 150 a game, huh? Uh, a, a season? Yeah. <laughs> miss speaking a lot more lately. I mean, look, that's a, that's an in extreme my, Randy ratio. It is. Uh, it's the new rules, you know? Yeah. Really conducive to that. How about 150 a year? Maybe even more. Yeah. So Tyreek Hill could do it all, man. And so I think that makes sense. The, the thing that fascinates me about him, 30 years old. Yeah. And he does have this knack for like pulling up lame in the middle of a game. And it's like, uh-oh, got to watch the hamstring, got to watch this, got to watch that. And then he's back a few plays later. He does that a lot. He's been doing that since his Chiefs days. And he's the one guy where like if he hurts a leg, right, if he gets a leg injury, does that completely change his value? His value is so high because he has speed and quickness, right? You don't always get both. Oftentimes you just get the the, the four two four three speed or you just get the quickness. He literally has both. As, as, as good as anybody in the league, which is why he's so valuable, if he loses even just a step, what happens to his game as he gets into his 30s? That's the big question to me. Like, so Tyree Kill is not just a fast receiver. I mean, for a guy that's like 5'10", 190, he's always been a great contested catch receiver. He's, he's really good at the catch point for a smaller receiver to the point where people don't even really bring up the fact that he's a small receiver you know, relative to some other guys, it's not something you generally hear talked about for Tyreek Hill, in part because he's so good at the catch point and making plays sort of bigger than his size would indicate. But I, with the, I think a thing that is the question with all receivers who do rely on speed and quickness, and, and you're right, Tyreek Hill has both, which makes him very, very unusual. What happens if and when he does start to lose a step and he's now in the area of age and you know experience where that is an inevitable outcome like at some point he isn't going to be as fast and as quick as he is right now there are no signs of that happening yet but that's the kind of thing that happens very quickly to receivers even ones that you know don't have that kind of incredible speed and quickness that he does so this was a question you know with a guy like randy moss like what happens when he starts to lose a step and he can no longer do the thing that was his signature throughout the entirety of his career and that i mean they have they've signed him it's a it's a deal you know for the next three years 65 million more guaranteed you would assume that starts to happen sometimes in the next three years now does it happen this year does it happen the very end of that three-year deal that's a big question mark and that value completely changes um you know how much success miami are likely to get out of this deal but you would assume that that change in his game starts to happen somewhere during the life of this contract. Using PFF War, Tyreek Hill is the most valuable receiver in the NFL over the last three years. As I said, he's the guy that I would want to start my team with because I, I do think I think he's the most valuable in what we capture using uh, PFF grades and in numbers. But I think even what we don't capture, again, the, the gravity that he has for, for defenses, the fear that he instills in a defense and his ability to get behind the defense to create big plays. So, you know, Dolphins are banking on that continuing right now and, and having Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell and, oh, by the way, OBJ as a part of that receiving core to help Tua as they uh, try to make some moves here in the AFC. Mm-hmm.